I've got here a set of our AUK contour sanding grips. Comes in a set of eight and we can use it for sanding a whole lot of profiles and shapes where you're trying to maintain crispness of those edges. The set comes with eight different shape blocks. Three which are flat but different thicknesses and five which have a real variety of different radiuses in them. Also some which are just parallel, some which come to a point, some which just come to a one-sided point. All of these profiles and diameters are going to be great for getting into mouldings and corners and around shapes. The thickest out of the three flat pads is going to be really quite good for getting into corners of assemblies you've already put together. We try and clean things up before we assemble them, but you've got to get in later on and do a bit of sanding as well. If I just try and get it with my fingers, or my fingers being rounded, I'm never going to get right into the corner. So what we can do, take a bit of paper, and then we can get and we can sand right up into the corners. Otherwise, if you want to get really into the corner, you could use one with an angle on it, wrap your paper around that, and use that one to get right into the corners to sand up as well, and the back into the other side. We can also flex this a little bit or bend it, so we could use it maybe around the outside profile here. This one might be a bit thick for this profile, so it's probably best to go down to the next size, and we're going to find that then is going to bend over and follow that curve more when you've got your abrasive on it. We could also use this with our abrasive wrapped around it for going around curves like this. So rather than being too flat, as I'm spinning it, we're going to get a good shape. If the radius was tighter, you might want to go with the thinner one again, and you can really wrap him around that shape. For getting inside the curve handle like this, I think I'd probably use my mid-size block. It's going to be great for following that curve around there, and also just softening the edges here. We want to keep things crisp, and we want to keep them uniform, so just getting the right thickness block with your abrasive around there, it's just going to get that shaping beautifully. If we've done some turn work, we'll try and do most of the sanding on the lathe, but after assembly, if there's any glue spill out, you're also going to need to do some sanding. So again, you can get the right thickness pad that's really going to go around your shape and get into all these awkward corners. The same for the profile around here. We can get either across the grain or going with it just to blend all of these shapes in. Maintaining this profile and the shape is quite tricky. So again, I'd get some paper, I'd wrap him around, Find out what's this right shape, but we should be able to get this to follow that rebate around and also around the corners as well. Keep that profile right, and we can sand around here when we've got our paper on there. This tabletop's been sanded before, but when we do this, we want to make sure after we've done our routing that we can really get these profiles sanded up beautifully. Difficult just to do it with your fingers. What you end up doing is rounding off all the edges. So the best thing to do is see if you can find yourself one of these profiles. They're all different sizes. What's the best radius that fits into that curve? So I would sort out which is my correct one. Probably get him up into my vise. Wrap my paper around the abrasive. Cut the abrasive to the right size of the paper. And then what you can do is put them into your curve and you can do your sanding across. Watch you don't round your corners off. What I would do, I would do the internal curve first, all the way across. I'll probably then swap for one of my blocks that's got a sort of fatter, squarer edge onto it. That one there is going to be perfect for actually getting into the rebates, so we can get into these crisp corners as well. And also want to see if we can go around the curve around that face. And then I'll probably end up doing my final sanding of this edge, so I just get it nice and crisp again before we start putting our polish on there. When it comes to the finishing process, if we've got some finish on there, some lacquer or some oil, we generally want to cut back between the different uh, layers of finish we put on there. We call it denibbing, getting rid of the little bits of fine dust. If you did this with a hard sanding block with paper on it, you would damage the surface and also we get build up on our abrasive. We call it piles, basically. It looks like little lumps of toffee. Not very good and it'll burnish and scratch your surface you're much better going with a softer block. So again, wrap it around the block and get it on here. And you can just go over just to knock that finish back just a little bit before you put your next coat on there. For any of our products, check out our website, woodworkersworkshop.co.uk. 
Remember, we ship to over 220 countries around the world or look at us on our social media channels.